Hey, wait, 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 while you're here, let's sit back and relax as I show you over 10 of my favorite pranks to fool your family, your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, you guys, let's do this. Before we get started, do me a big favor, hit that like button, share those with all your friends and family so they can prank their families as well. You guys, let's have some fun. Get yourself some saran wrap, stretch it across the toilet, nice and tight and clean. Get out those wrinkles, then get some scissors or a Zacto knife and cut off this extra right off the porcelain. And be careful if it's a fancy toilet and it's painted or something like that, don't scratch it up. Get rid of this extra evidence. So now you won't even notice once the seat is closed and when your sister or mom sits down to pee, it's gonna be a disaster. Get yourself some Jell-O mix, something that's dark like red or purple. Take off the shower head, fill a small tube or a straw with a bunch of dark Jell-O, and then blow it up inside the wall, inside this pipe. Carefully put the shower head back on, and then when they take a shower, it's gonna rain color. Share this video or else. Another messy bathroom prank is get yourself a packet of ketchup or hot sauce. Stick it right underneath where one of the bumps are on the toilet seat, line that up, hide it under there, and then when somebody sits down, this is what happens. Seriously, share this video, damn it. Grab your dad or brother's deodorant, preferably something that's more of a white or cream color. What you can do if there's a lot missing, lower it so it goes into the container nice and deep, or raise it up, cut off a bunch, lower it back in, and then you're gonna fill it with something gross like cream cheese. If you know he's gonna use it soon, you could pack it with butter, but even better yet, something very evil is get a bunch of glue sticks, chop them up, squish them together, and pack it in there so when they use it on their armpit, it's gonna glue their hairs together. So evil. While you're here, make sure you're a subscriber. Get yourself a block of cheese, preferably the color of somebody's soap. Take their soap out, replace it with the cheese or the butter, and then get your knife and then carve your cheese in the shape of a general shape of their soap. Leave it there and sit back as you hear them scream. Turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Get yourself a coin, some tape, and what you're gonna do is tape a coin right under the aerator of a sink like this. But first, dry it off nicely, and then stick the coin on there, and the next person that uses the sink is gonna have a surprise. Oh, come on! Breaks, magic, hacks. Get yourself a rubber snake or a rat, some string or tape, and affix a rubber snake or a rat inside the toilet lid so when your sister or mom opens it up, this gets pulled out and freaks the heck out of them. Be sure to check our store out for awesome merch. This next one is so psychological. What you're gonna do is get yourself a little bit of soap, some bar soap, some dishwasher soap, or even shaving cream. You're gonna dab a little on your finger, and then what you're gonna do is write a message on the mirror in the bathroom, and it will be invisible until they take a shower. The steam will come, it'll go all over the glass, but it cannot write where you've secretly written a message like, I see you, or I'm gonna kill you, or look behind you, anything you want, and then when the steam hits it, that message will appear. So freaky. You're still here, so you obviously like this video, so smash that like button. Get yourself some poppers, the kind that have a string that you have to pull. These right here are my absolute favorite. You'll see inside of here, this comes with dozens of these. It's the kind that has the popper in between strings. So when you pull on the two ends, it explodes. And what's so cool about any of the poppers with the string is you can add a string to this so you have extra length and you can rig it. So you can tie this around one of the handles and then tie the other one off or tape it inside so when they open up a drawer, it pops. Or better yet, tie extra string to this so you have an extra bit of length and loop it onto the toilet seat and then tie this down below or tape it so when they lift up the toilet seat, oh my gosh. You can literally scare the shit out of people. Nine more awesome pranks to go. Get yourself a miniature air horn and decide who you're gonna prank. If you know someone comes and sits on the toilet, what you can do is tape it right here inside so when the lid pushes down on it, it'll go off. So have it where it just barely fits. And then when the person sits down, it depresses it. Or better yet, tape it right here behind the toilet lid and then tape the lid so it doesn't fall forward just like that. And then hide all that with a t-shirt or some towels. And the next person that comes to sit down is gonna wanna push this back and then it's gonna set it off. Oh, we're not done. There's even more. Get yourself a creepy little spider and some double stick tape. And what you're gonna do is pull the toilet paper out a few lengths, stick this spider onto the roll so it's crawling that direction, and then roll it back up. And now the next person that uses it is gonna pull the toilet paper, and guess what happens? That spider goes in motion, and it looks like it's chasing them. It's so good, such an epic, simple prank. One of my absolute favorites. This catches people in a really vulnerable position, but also they create the animation, and it looks so really, you guys. Do not underestimate 
underestimate the power of this trick. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked any of these fun pranks, hit that like button right now and share it with all your friends and family so they can mess with their friends and family as well. If you guys are interested, check out my merch store below for all kinds of fun t-shirts, magic tricks, pranks, all kinds of fun stuff. You guys, thank you so much for the love and support and I'll catch you next week. Peace.